You ready? Are you ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Oh! Nice big takedown, what a technique, what a takedown, great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the Broadcast. I mean, right there, bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. A lot of dip now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry, rotates the high crotch, taking oh. forward. Oh, my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 26 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on Quick the ground with this guy. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh takes him for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Start round two now, DC. Jorge Masvidal versus Ben Askren. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so the hands were working well. Now Masvidal choosing to kick it and finding success in that role, too. I've seen this in strike force. Jorge Masvidal has every at his disposal. He has every ability that you need in order to become a UFC champion. And right now, he looks like he's having a performance that may lead him to that title shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all Quick these level change, Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. Oh, he flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Gabriel. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. 
We'll see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get into full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high oh, punch, takes oh, a four ride, slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that. I'm never <laughs> Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the denims. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh, oh. left him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took the risk. What a fantastic round. You're doing good, but I need you to do better now, okay? I need you to relax and find your range. I need you to be first, and I need to get that. All right, here we go, third and final round. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Quick entry to get Man, it on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam takedown, that was beautiful. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, oh, he might have got him with a choke. 